I'm going to show you guys how you can make this crazy glowing smoke effect inside of After Effects. This is super simple to follow along, so make sure you guys stay to the very end because there is a ton of sauce in this video. So open up the timeline here, we have this Nets Bend music video clip, and as you guys can see, the smoke comes out of his mouth, just like that. And before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available, and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40, and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I add Fast Effects to my cart and then decide to add opium looks and crt textures i'll get crt textures and opium looks for completely free at checkout you guys don't want to miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever go down below and pre-order fast effects today so to get started what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to rotoscope the smoke so to do this what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our clip we're gonna press ctrl d to duplicate it and then on the top one here we're gonna double click and it's gonna open up inside of a layer composition we're gonna go over to our rotoscope tool now click and hold on it and then we're gonna click the roto brush now to get started i'm gonna scroll to zoom in Hold my spacebar, click and drag so we have the center, and I'm going to draw out around the smoke. Now, holding option, it's going to make it negative. I'm going to go ahead and just key that area. I'm sure you guys know how to rotoscope by now. So I'm going to go ahead through this entire thing and rotoscope it so it looks as perfect as possible. Just already skimming through, we can already see it looks pretty perfect already. And we don't run into any issues, which is awesome. So if we go back into our composition now and we turn off the bottom layer, you guys can see we have the smoke rotoscoped but it kind of looks like ass. So to fix this, what we could do is go back into the layer and we're going to click and bring it down to refine edge tool. Now we're going to go to the very beginning and we're going to draw around the smoke just like this. And if we skip to the video, we could see it looks perfect. We're just looking for some errors that we might potentially have to fix. And we look good guys. So we're going to go ahead and freeze this now. What this is going to do is it's going to pre-render it just so when we're editing later on, it's not going to have to render it through. And if we go back into our composition, you guys can see we have our smoke and it looks super realistic and all the texture is there on the edges. So now what we could do is we're going to click on our smoke and we're going to search up something called find edges. We're going to drag and drop that onto our clip and we're going to hit invert. As you guys can see, it is now white and black. And now we're going to search up something called tint and we're going to drag and drop that on here. Now we're going to map the white to like, let's say for red, for example. Don't worry, we're going to change this later. And now we're going to open up the opacity mode here. If you guys don't see this, make sure you toggle switches and modes. It's not visible right now, but if we toggle it, we have the modes. And we're going to set this to screen here. It's basically going to make the black invisible just so we have the red layers. And you guys can see here, it's, it's cool, but it doesn't stand out that much. What we're going to do now is we're going to add something called deep glow. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this on. If you guys don't have deep glow, any other glows work as well. You guys can see the adds a little bit more oomph to the glow. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the exposure here, and that's really going to make it glow like crazy. And you guys can turn up the radius as well. So now if we play this through, you guys can see the glowing smoke looks absolutely crazy. And there's a couple other ways that we can level this up as well. If I go ahead and drag and drop on a Lumetri color, we can go into basic correction and we could turn up the saturation and the exposure as well. I'm going to keep it around there. Now what I recommend you guys do is to search up HLS color, which is color balance. We're going to drag and drop this on here now. Go to the very beginning and I'm going to keyframe hue at the beginning, then go to the very end and I'm going to change this first zero here to a one. If we go ahead and play this through, you guys are going to see it's going to do a complete color loop of the full cycle, which looks super crazy. And that's how you guys can do the glowing smoke effect. Feel free to tweak with any of the glow settings, add a flicker, add a different glow, add a glint. Totally up to you guys. I made this tutorial so you guys could take it as it is and fully customize it to your own liking with your own knowledge. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'll see you then. Peace.